Welcome back to the channel and we are playing Burger Please. This is part nine. Uh, and let's see if we can finish building out our second location by farming money at our first location <laughs> by the end of this video. I actually did not mean to do that, but that's okay. So this location is doing pretty well with uh, with everything. Um, obviously, there's quite a few more things to build out. So we are going to go to Inburger. It makes money. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, just got off work and then I took a short walk and uh, yeah, ready to play a couple of more, uh, a couple of more parts of uh, Burger Please. Wow. <laughs> Look how many, oh, he's, is that still not enough? Is it just him? I'm following him now. Oh, he's, Wow, he ate those really quickly. That's a lot of burgers for one person. I'm not judging though. I'm a big eater as well. Not this much though. <laughs> that would be too much for me. You know, we're going to keep farming this location. I, it's working. So, um, and then we'll go back and use the money that we get from this location to uh, fully build out the second location. And I think I started this in part six, and this is part nine, and we're almost... Uh, well, not almost, probably a little over, maybe 75% of the way from uh, building uh, the second location. So it's going much faster doing it this way than it did when I was building out the first location. Even though the second location um, costs a lot more to do things. <laughs> it's off the screen. So there is no limit to how much trash you can carry, but there is a limit to how many burgers you can get. I think I'll stay here for a bit. Uh, hope this isn't boring you. To, I know uh, if you've been watching all these videos, you've seen me at this location already. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna stay here a bit just to get the money up quite a bit because I know um, I'm probably gonna need maybe 60 or 70K uh, to get the second location fully fleshed out. And then we'll spend a little time there um, so you can see what that looks like. Ha <laughs> 
I'm just going around collecting money. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. You can always tell too when the, the cashier doesn't doesn't have any more burgers because tables will be empty. Um, so I can tell now that she doesn't have any burgers. Nope. Let's get it filled up. Alright, I think this is enough that um, we can go to the second location and see what we can do with about uh, 17k. It'll be 17k by the time I finish. All right, actually 19K. So we'll go ahead and keep. Let me go to HR. And uh, okay, lots of money needed. Uh, we can do more capacity. Oh, now that I have all this money, I don't want to spend it. <laughs> Just like that. I am back to no money. Might have been a better idea for me to, um... Oh, this person has a laptop on this one. Oh, there's a laptop. The guy, there's a laptop in the corner on the other. So I guess we have free Wi-Fi here. So yeah, I'm just spending a little time here so you get to see the location. Um, Looks similar, but still different in some ways. Um, I'm making sure to feed that drive through. All right, I think um, it's time to head back over. All right, let's get some more money. So as you can see, it takes a lot to build out the dining room in the, um, at Shake Burger. Is it Shake Burger or is it Burger Queen? Because it says Burger Queen uh, in one place and on the sign it says uh, Shake Burger. So I don't know which one it is.
I might have been a little overly ambitious. I don't think I'll be able to do it in this video. I try to keep the video uh, between 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I apologize about, I think it's part seven, it might be. That's only like six minutes long. I had some technical difficulties and... Uh, because I wanted to, to show you everything, I just decided that I would include that part and then start a new part, which is a little bit longer than the other one. Uh, I think part part eight or part nine, one of them is uh, it's like 27 minutes. So. I'm not in a hurry to get back to the second location. Uh, I think most of the things that I want to do <laughs> cost um, 10 or 12K. So I'm trying to farm quite a bit of cash in this first location. I wonder if there's a limit to how much cash can can stack up. Um, like if I didn't touch it, would it just keep growing and growing and growing, or what? Maybe I'll leave the stacks uh, at the cash register and at the drive-through and just see how high they build up. It might be a little difficult though because sometimes if you go close, um, this, this can get a little glitchy. And kind of push you over there like it knows you want to pick up the money. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. I, I called it. I knew it was coming. Um, I'm just staying at the front, um, leaving the tables alone. I'm letting my employees handle that while I just stack up. Take a look at the tables. Yeah, they're building up quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for a bit. I'm just going to stay in the front, uh, let the employees handle the tables while I make sure that uh, the drive-through and uh, cashier has tons of burgers. I wonder how high this can stack up. I'm just gonna sit here. Okay, that's max. All right. I 
Oh wait, there's an angry customer. So I would consider this more of a relaxing game than I would uh, necessarily um, like a like a challenging uh, game because there doesn't seem to be any repercussions for, for doing anything wrong or slow or uh, there's no time constraint. Uh, I think I could just sit back in this location with just one itself. Um, Maybe if I left the angry customer for too long, I, no, like nobody leaves because the angry customer is there or anything like that. They just stay. Let's take a look at these tables. Nice. What do you think? Is it a good time to collect and go head over to the uh, second location? Or should I stay here and farm some more? And what should I build next? Should I spend the money on the employees? Or should I, um, oh, out of burgers. Doesn't feel like the stacks of the, the register get have gotten any bigger. So I wonder if there's like a max on that. Mm, no. But I, I think maybe the stacks can only go so high. Uh I'm not sure. Yeah, see I think they, they represent they don't necessarily represent the amount of money that's there. I think they'd stop growing at some point. Because I've I've seen a stack like that before at the drive-thru and not and it and it was less than that. Because that was about six six K. And that was only like one one K, maybe a little more than one K or whatnot, but that stack was definitely the same size as the one that I had already gotten, so Alright, let me take a look at the tables. Yeah, let's go ahead and collect on the tables. These tips. All right, we got 26K. I think it's a good time to go back to our second location now, 27. Um, I think it's a good time to go back to our second location and just see uh, how well it's doing um, and what we, how much, um, how, many, how many things we can build. Might be able to do two or three things. Um, trying to decide right now what to do. I should do uh I think I'll continue to build out the dining room um,
figured I'd get a little cash before then. All right. So that is the dining. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> now you can start building on the other side. Yeah, this this place is going to require a lot of money. Okay, the time. So that's probably, I'm looking now, I didn't know what it was before in the other videos, but that's probably the time it takes to um, make burgers. And here, this is probably the time it takes this person to, this employee to make uh, these hamburger baskets. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, there's still quite a lot to do here. I, I was definitely overly ambitious to think that I could just do this <laughs> in one more video. In fact, it might take three or four to actually complete the dining room. Um, so we'll do one more farming run in the first location. What is this here? It says zero of 390. Get plus seven dollars a minute. Uh, that's the income. But it must be only when I'm when I'm here. Uh, I mean, not offline because uh, otherwise I should have had a lot more money waiting. See, now you can tell the cashier does not have any burgers. Look how many empty tables there are. Yep. It's a dead giveaway. Okay, there's also a limit to how high you can get the burgers. <laughs> Right. We need actually another grill here. My drive through is empty. Cannot keep up with the demand. They should go, they should go to the second location. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder why they named the second location differently uh, as opposed to just having like a chain of inburgers across um, the states. Or maybe even in the city. Just have one city with just multiple locations uh, and then that would be something that you could manage uh, 
see which ones are underperforming and things of that nature. I've been deliberately staying away from the drive through profits, trying to build these up, because I'm going to do one more, uh, one more run. And this video is getting kind of long, so I'll just go ahead and start grabbing up these profits, and then I'll head that way. I wonder if these profits, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a bunch of profits. Just, uh, I'll just do it for like a minute. I just want to, when I come back, I want to see if they're still there when I go um, to the second location. So we'll leave the tables too with people on it. Um, just kind of see what the stacks look like. And uh, yeah, then we're going to switch over to the second location. Okay, there's nobody at my second location. Oh, there, oh, there we go. We're waiting for customers. Um, this builds up the profits here. This builds up the time that you can serve. Let's do that. All right, that's maxed out. Things are getting a bit faster here. I'm starting to figure things out. Uh, I know um, everybody's already figured it out. I'm, I'm a little slow on the uptake, but I got it. Now I can see uh, what that little timer is. Um, this little timer that says 5.8K, uh, that tells you how long it takes for the person to uh, work their station. Um, and then this here that says 4K, and it has a money sign it says uh that's the profits that's how much money you can make um i was gonna say i'm learning right along with you but uh, i think it's after you would probably be um more accurate all right so we did build up a lot in this uh in this video uh, mostly from our profits at Inburger. Um, but uh, yeah, nevertheless, we are getting there. Now let me go back just to see, and then I'll end, end the video at Inburger. No, I won't. I'll go back to the location. Okay, so yeah, still here. The profits look, um, looks like they just kind of stop. Yeah, that wasn't very much. So when you walk, it looks like when you walk away or when you switch locations, whatever profits they are, just stop. Um, I know that you do get a little bit of money um, from, you get a little bit of money for uh, like $7 a minute or something like that, but that's not, that, that's not much. You would be better off just going to the location and just grabbing one stack um, than waiting around for that little bit of cash. All right, so let's end this video here at Shake Burger. So it is called Shake Burger, but if you see at the top of the screen, it says 85 of 100. It says Burger Queen, like clearly. So, but the sign, I'm going to go walk to the sign. The sign says Shake Burger, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is, this is uh, 5.8K. We'll do that, and then I'll end it. I know I keep saying I'm going to end the video, but and then I don't. But I really, I really am this time. Uh, there we go. That's enough. I did not mean to grab that. Okay, I am going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day, and I will be back with more parts of Burger Please.